Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Rachel Colton of RNC. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a macrame veil or headpiece. What you'll need to make this project is your rope or your string. I'm going to be using three millimeter single strand cotton string. This is from rightrope.com. You're also going to want something to measure your string, a sharp pair of scissors to cut your string, and some painter's tape or craft tape to hold your string in place. This was the first time I created this project and I used six strings cut to twice my height. I'm about 5'8", so I cut my strings to about 11 feet 4 inches. However, I'm wishing I had used longer strings so that I could have had some more fringe at the bottom. So I am going to suggest that for this project, you start with six strings cut to about 15 feet each. You can even go longer depending on how long you want your fringe. All right, so let's get started. Once you have your six strings cut to length, we want to leave about 36 inches at the top before we start our pattern so that we will have some string to connect the two sides. And we also want some fringe hanging down at the end. So you can use your tape measure or I'm just going to use this mat that I have to measure out about 36 inches. And when you find that 36 inch mark, that's where you want to secure your strings to your surface. You want to lay them all flat next to each other. And then you can use some painter's tape, masking tape, or craft tape to secure those in place. To begin our diamond pattern, we're going to find the third string from the right. This is going to be our filler string that comes across to the left at a diagonal, and the remaining three strings will be forming the diagonal plow pitch knots. To form your first knot, you want to take the next string over toward the left, which is underneath of the filler string. You're going to take it and cross it over the filler string, then bring it around behind and through this loop that you've created pulling all of your slack through. Then you wanna tug down on that working string and then pull it tight to the top to meet your tape. This is the first half of our knot. We want to repeat the process with our working string that's now off to the right. You're going to cross it over your filler string, then bring it around behind and then up through this loop that you've created, pulling all your slack through. And then you wanna tug down on the working string before pulling it tight to meet the other half. And then we're going to repeat that with the next two strings toward the left. So pick up that next string, which is underneath, cross it in front of the filler string, around and up through the loop, pulling all your slack through. Then pull down and pull tight to meet the other knot and then repeat again with that same working string. Cross in front, around behind and through. Pull down and pull tight. And one more time with that final string to the left. We've now completed the top left of our first diamond. We need to do the same thing to the right. And once again, we're gonna use the third string over from the right as our filler string coming across at a diagonal. And these two, two strings to the right will form the knots. So pick up the next string toward the right, cross over in front of your filler string, around and through. Pull down and then tighten up to meet to the other side. And then repeat, cross in front of the filler, around behind and through. Pull down and tighten up. Then repeat that with this final string to the right. 
cross it in front of the filler string, bring it around and through the loop, pull down and tighten and repeat. We've now completed the top half of our first diamond. What we're going to do next is create a square knot in the center using these center four strings. To form a square knot, you want to take the rightmost string and bring it across the other three. Then you're going to take this leftmost string and bring it around on top of the one you just crossed. And then take that left string behind the center two strings and up through this loop on the side. Pull all your string through, then take both left and right sides and you're going to tighten them up to the top. You will have a little bit of gap between the top of the diamond and your square knot. This is just one half. To complete the knot, we need to do the same thing, except we need to reverse the direction. So now the left side will cross in front of the center two, the right string will come on top, around behind center, up through the loop, and then you want to grab the two ends, right and left, and pull tight to meet the other half of your knot. The next thing we need to do is form the bottom portion of our diamond. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the rightmost string. This will come across at a diagonal towards center and the remaining two strings will form diagonal clove hitch knots once again. So you're going to take the next string towards center, cross it in front, around behind, pull all the way through, pull down, and then pull tight. And then repeat, cross in front, bring around behind and through. Pull down and pull tight. Pick up the next string toward the center and form your next diagonal clove hitch knot. Now we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So take your leftmost string, which will come across at a diagonal. And this time, in order to close up the diamond at the bottom, we're going to use all three of these strings. So pick up your next one towards center, cross over in front, bring around behind and through, pull down and tighten and then repeat. Then pick up the next string over towards center and form your diagonal clove hitch knot. And then to connect these in the center, we're going to continue forming knots with this remaining middle string. And now you can see we have completed our first diamond with a square knot in the center. What we're going to do is just continue to repeat this pattern until I have enough length to wrap around my head. So I'm actually going to start going into my next diamond by continuing with this same filler string and using the remaining two strings off to the right. Now I've started into my second diamond. I have the top right side done. So what I need to do is come over and form the left side. So what I'm going to do is find the third string from the left, 
you can see it sort of looks like it comes straight out of that top diamond. That's going to be my filler string coming across at a diagonal. And then these two strings to the left will form the diagonal clove hitch knots. Once you complete the top half of your second diamond, you again want to make another square knot using the four center strings. So you wanna take that right string, cross it over in front, bring the left on top, then take that left string around the center two behind them and up through the loop, and then pull your two ends up to the top and then reverse the direction, bring left in front of the center two, take right on top of left, right behind center two, up through the loop on the side, and then pull tight to meet the other half. And then once again, you're gonna close this diamond on the right by taking that right outermost string across and using these two strings toward the center to form your knots. And then with the left side, you're gonna take that leftmost string across and to continue into your next diamond, you're gonna form knots with all five of these strings. I'm going to continue this pattern until I have enough length to wrap around my head and then I'll get back to you and show you how to connect the two sides. So what you want to do is sort of fold your headband in half and you want to line up these last two diamonds so that all the strings are, all these ends are next to each other in a line. We're going to keep this connection very simple and very beginner friendly. We now have 12 strings hanging down. We've got six from the right side and six from this left side. What I'm going to do is take this center string from the right side, so it's the outermost left on this piece. That's going to come across as my filler string, and I'm going to use the next one, two, three over to form the top of a diamond. So I'm taking the outermost string from this other side, and that is going to form diagonal clove hitch knots, which will connect the two sides together. And then we'll pick up the next string over and continue making diagonal clove hitch knots. And the next string. And so now it almost looks like we have two rows of clove hitch knots sitting next to each other. And we're gonna do the same thing going the opposite direction. So you want to find this center string here at the bottom of this diamond top and we're going to take the next let's see one two strings over to get to the bottom of this next diamond. So these three strings on this side have not been used, neither have the three on this side. So now we're working with these six in the center and you want to leave the two ends out again. Pick up the very center four and form a square knot. And 
now we need to close this diamond just like we've done with the rest of our pattern. So you're going to pick up this leftmost string and bring it across towards center and then use the remaining two strings towards center to make your knots. And then on the other side, you're going to take the outermost string across and you're going to use the three next strings toward the center in order to close the diamond at the bottom. So now the two sides are connected in a loop and you've got this fringe that's hanging down at the end. The strings are all different lengths depending on how much you use them as fillers versus how much you use them to form the knot. So you can trim these to all the same length or you can keep them uneven for a little more of a bohemian look. Another thing you can do if you want to add additional fringe to just what's in the back is we can attach additional strings to these little loops on the ends using a lark's head knot. And you can make them any length you want. I'm just gonna trim a piece of string to about 48 inches and see how that looks. So you just wanna cut your string to whatever length, line up the two loose ends so that you have this loop in the center. And then on this loop, outside of your pattern, you want to just tuck that string inside there and then pull the loop down in the back, then take your loose ends, feed them through that loop, pull them back through, and then pull tight to attach that with what's called a lark's head knot. And you can put one, you might be able to squeeze two, but you can add as many extra strings as you want going around. I hope that you enjoyed today's project and that you'll give this macrame veil a try. Please leave me any questions or comments and subscribe to my channel. Also check the description for that 5% discount code to writerope.com. Thank you and have a great day.